Factor Math Blog here, and this unit is going to be on subtracting fractions. So this is uh, section 7.4 in the book that I'm following. So we're going to be dealing with uh, things that have common denominators already. Uh, but hopefully you guys can realize things like, um, uh, you know, 3 over 6 or 4 over 8 or 5 over 10 or 6 over 12. When the numerator is half the denominator, they always reduce to one half, okay? All right, and it looks like this is going to get in my way when I get down uh, on my last uh, page. I'll read it to you when we get there, though. Here we go. So uh, the common core is we're going to use our prior knowledge of operations of whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. So our essential question is, how can we subtract fractions with like denominators using models? Okay, so we're going to have a couple of models here. So let's go ahead and try one here. So here, Marsha uh, needs to walk five-eighths of a mile to reach her destination. Whoops, I put one too many ends in there. Sorry about that. I'll clear it on this one. I'm not going to clear it on the rest of them, you guys. So um, uh, anyways, uh, let's see. So she has already traveled three-eighths of a mile. So how much farther does she need to travel? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is set up a, a number line. It's going to drive me crazy all the way through, sorry. Um, uh, is set up a, a number line, and this is going to be my one mile. Eight over eight is one mile. And since she traveled in five eighths of a unit, I, I cut it up into eight eighths. Okay, so one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth, five eighth, six eighth, seven eighth, eight eighth. And then I, I did two of them, you guys. The second one, this one is going to be so I can represent her five eighths right here. And then this one's going to be so I can represent uh, how much she's walked already, that three eighths right there. Okay. So, um, uh, so step one, shade the model to show the total distance Marsha needs to walk. Okay, so I'm going to uh, shade five eighths going across, one, two, three, four, five, five of these little rectangles right here. And then below that, I'm going to shade uh, to show how much distance she has already walked. So she's already walked three eighths, so I'm going to put three eighths down there. And I think I did them in colors right here. Okay, so there's what she did uh, on the total distance right there. And then, uh, and then, so uh, what she needs to do is five eighths right there. She's not going to walk the whole mile. She's only going to walk five eighths of a mile. Okay. And then, uh, and then, so the distance uh, that she's already walked is three eighths of a mile. Okay. You guys with me? All right. So right down there, the bottom right there is the distance left. So she has two eighths of a mile left to go. Okay. So. If she needs to go five eighths of a mile and she's already gone three eighths of a mile, then there's two eighths of a mile left. Okay, so um, uh, we're going to write the difference. Five eighths minus three eighths is going to equal two eighths. Easy enough, right? Okay, and notice we just subtracted the numerators, you guys. Just like adding fractions, we don't change the denominators because they're in terms of eighths, eighths of a parts. So we just subtract the numerator. Five minus three gives me two eighths. So Marcia needs to walk two eighths of a mile farther. Okay, all right. Let's. Um, uh, so why do we use a number line that showed it in eighths? Well, we use that number to sh line to show it in eighths because the distance Marcia traveled was given in eighths of a mile. So if she, if it was given in say sevenths of a mile, I would have cut this mile up into sevenths. If it was given in sixths of a mile, I would have cut this mile up into six. But since she walked uh, five eighths so far or she needs to walk five eighths and she walked three eighths so far. Those are both uh, in eighths of a mile, so I cut it up into eighths. So how does this model show how far Marcia needs to travel? Well, what we did is uh, uh, the red showed, uh, the red five eighths showed uh, by shading five of the eight equal parts, so that's how much she needed to travel. And so how can we use this model to, uh, uh, this model up here, uh, to find six eighths minus two eighths? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is shade in six of them and then shade in two of them and then the difference of those two. Okay, so you can see I did that up there so we can shade in uh, six eighths parts and, and I did it in red and then we can shade two eighths parts and then the difference is this right here. It's how much uh, they overlap. One, two, three, four and these are in terms of eighths so this is four eighths and remember what I said at the beginning uh, four eighths reduces to one half so so we'll get used to writing uh, one half. Probably you can write four eighths right now. I think that would be okay. Later on, though, we're going to start reducing those fractions. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, Alice made a pie and cut it up into six equal pieces. She gave Peter and Jan two pieces and put the rest away for later. How much did she put away for later? Okay. So it's basically asking. Uh, this one represents one whole pie right here, and we're going to take away since it was cut up into six equal pieces. 
we took away two of the six pieces right there. So how much pie did Alice begin with? Okay, well, she began with uh, one whole pie. Okay, and then I'm going to... Uh, how many slices are in the whole pie? Remember, it says six equal pieces. So let's go ahead and slice that guy up into six equal pieces right there. Okay, and then how many slices were taken? Well, there were two slices that were taken right there. Okay, all right, so uh, with the picture, let's shade the whole pie. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shade that whole pie. All right, and then um, uh, and then we're going to cross out the part that Peter and Jan had. Okay, so I'm going to just take out a random two pieces right there. So how many sixth size pieces are left? Okay, well this is in terms of six, so there's one, two, three, four. There's four six size pieces that are left. All right. Uh, so Alice put away, how much does she put away? Well, if they're in terms of six, they're cut into six size pieces. So she, she put away four of the six size pieces right there. Okay? All right. So uh, another way is to use fraction strips, you guys. So here's a fraction strip of, this is one unit to represent the one whole pie. And since she cut it up into six, then I cut this fraction unit up into six size pieces right here. So we're going to use one six size part parts to model the whole pie right here okay so uh, how many six size parts should you cross out to model the piece that Alice uh, gave to Peter and Jan well she gave uh, a piece to each so there would be two pieces right there notice I crossed off these two pieces right there all right so how many uh, six size parts are left well there's one two three four so there's six uh, there's four six size pieces left one six size pieces left so write the difference okay so one whole pie minus uh, 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 this one's going to be two out of six right here so this one whole pie is actually this should be six out of six is one whole pie minus two out of six is going to equal four out of six okay you guys see this can you see that one equals six out of six it's six six pie right there and we take away the two six pieces and we're left with four six okay so that's the way how we can subtra uh, subtract fractions. Okay, we're getting towards the end here, and I, we're going to be cut off down here. I can tell down here. Sometimes this little thing's here, and sometimes it's not. So just depends on what kind of mood it's in, I guess. Okay, so explain why it makes sense to think of one uh, whole as six six of the uh, in the in that last problem right there. Okay, we kind of talked about that. So the whole is divided into six equal parts, and the fraction six over six means six six size parts. So that six over six represents the one whole uh, pi. Explain how the equation six over six minus two over six equals four over six is related to the problem. Okay, well Alice started with six pieces, six of the six size pieces. That's kind of a tongue twister. Uh, she gave two pieces away and so four pieces are left over. So each piece was one six of the whole pie. Okay, so uh, she started with six out of six pieces. She gave two out of the six pieces away, and she's left with four out of the six pieces left over that she put away. So explain how you can find the unknown add end. Uh, in so the add end is just the number that you're adding right there. So it's just a fancy word they want you to get used to writing right there, you guys. Uh, the unknown add end. And to be honest with you guys, my probably most of my high school kids wouldn't know what that word meant. So don't worry about it, you guys. Just you're just adding. You see the word add right there, okay? Don't get too carried away with big old definitions. So uh, explain how you can find the, the unknown number uh, and two six plus uh, blank equals one without using a model, okay? Well, two six plus well, look right here. It's just kind of backwards right here. If I if I if I put this over here, uh, it would be two six plus. Uh, so the denominator in 2, 6 tells us how, that there's going to be 6 equal parts in the whole. Since we already have 2 parts, then we need 4 more to make the whole piece 6 out of 6. 6 out of 6, sorry. So the needed add-in to make the whole of 6 over 6 is 4 over 6. Whoa, I think I just made it right there. Okay, guys, take care.